Here's the commissioner again, David Stern. With the second pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Hashim Thabit from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and the University of Connecticut. In case you were wondering, did the commissioner really just say Tanzania? Yes, he did. Hashim Thabit becomes the first player in NBA history born in Tanzania. He's actually met three Tanzanian presidents. Seven foot three, 267 pound junior out of Connecticut is now a member of the Memphis Grizzlies. Let's take a look inside the draft room of the Memphis Grizzlies. A lot of speculation that they might go small with Ricky Rubio, but they go large, very large, with the tallest player in the draft out of Connecticut, Hashim Thabit. 13 points, 10 rebounds, and 4.2 blocks per game last year. His uh, 4.2 blocks, that was second in the NCAA. So Thabit's name goes up on the big board. The Memphis Grizzlies, a franchise that has only had winning seasons in 14 years of existence. There you have him, Jay Billis. What is this guy about? Well, he's about defensive potential. You know, he can protect the rim for you. This last year, he had 62 more blocks than he had fouls. He blocks and changes shots, and he does so without fouling. He's got good timing. He waits for the shooter to leave the floor before he leaves the floor, but he needs to operate in space. If you can get into his body, you can have a little bit of success against him. I think you have to draft him for his his defense first and his defense only, frankly, because I'm not sure his offense is ever really going to get there. I think he can get better offensively. He's got pretty good hands. He can make a catch. He gets stick backs. But I'm not sure he's ever going to be a great low post center. But he got it. He has to get stronger. He has to get stronger in his lower base. He has to get stronger in his upper body. That's an absolute necessity. DeWan Blair absolutely beasted him in the first game those two guys played this year. And I think he's got to really refine his offensive skills in the post. He's got to be able to make a post move legitimately with a counter. He's got to be able to hit a jump hook in the lane. One thing I really like about him, though, he makes his free throws. He can also make a face-up jumper. You don't want to take a lot of those, but he can do it. And he won't look up to very many players in the league, although there are at least two and only two that he will look up to. Hashim Thabit becomes, you know, one of the tallest guys that we've seen, tallest active players in the league. Yao Ming, of course, at 7'6". So he'll go eye to eye with Zadrunas Ilgoskis, and he'll look down at Dikembe Mutombo by an inch. Here is Hashim Thabit's reaction as Commissioner Stern called his name. He stood up and basically kept standing up. Hashim means the destroyer of evil, but Mark Jones doesn't look like any destroyer there. He just looks, looks like a man with a big smile on his face with you. Good look right now by Hashim to beat, Stu. And uh, Hashim, six years ago, you were back in Tanzania emailing American schools about getting a scholarship. Today, you're in the NBA. What has been the best part of your journey? Um, just uh, the experience itself, you know, me making transition from playing soccer from just kicking it and now you gotta use your hands and stuff. So, I mean, I've been around great guys, you know, Coach Calhoun, the UConn program helped me a lot, you know. I, I just wanna say thank you for everybody who helped me. It's interesting, you don't have to worry about kicking the ball anymore, but what does it mean to be the first player in the NBA from Tanzania? To me, this is a blessing, you know, it's just to get this opportunity to come out here and, you know, get education, play ball, and I decided what I want to do for life, for living, to play ball. And now to be here, you know, last year I remember I was at my house watching, you know, the NBA draft. And today I'm out here. It's just great, man. You know, there's, there's a lot of kids dreaming to be in the position I am right now. So to me, it's a blessing. Just I got no words to say. <laughs> Opens up a lot of doors overseas. And to think yeah. that. He just wanted to come to America, get a degree, and go back, Stu, to Tanzania and get a good job. He's got